Hello everybody and welcome back to the second shelf on this Sunday, uh, the 3rd of September, beginning of a new month and that means new releases, new books. And for those of you who might be new uh, to this channel for the purpose of this video, uh, TBR means to be released. So I look at the new releases uh, and then I pick um, a couple of four or five books that I find, personally I find interesting uh, and talk to them, uh, uh, talk about them with you. Uh, this time around I picked four and I start off with uh, a new novel by Kate Atkinson, Transcription, which will be published at the beginning of September, at least in the UK. Uh, the US and Canada release is at the end of the month. Now Kate Atkinson is um, um, a writer from York. Uh, you probably heard about her or read her book Life After Life, which is her most famous novel. I really love that book, but I also love her other work um, and she also writes a crime the Jackson Brody series so if you're into that uh, you should check that out and her new book uh, transcription like I said is a historical fiction a spy novel combination um, and we follow a young woman in the beginning of 1940 she's only 18 year old and she is um, uh, asked to join um, the British spy service. So she works as a spy and then we uh, go make a time jump 10 years later, beginning of the 1950s. Um, she now works at the BBC for uh, as a broadcaster and then her past, as I read from the blurb, her past catches up with her. Um, that, that sounded intriguing. I'm a, a sucker for a good spy novel. I love Kate Atkinson, so of course she made the list. For the second book, my second pick, we move on to uh, non-fiction and I chose Sarah Wyman's book, The Real Lolita, um, The Abduction of Sally Horner and the book that shocked the world, which will be published 11th of September. Sarah Wyman is an American journalist, an editor and crime book writer. She lives in New York uh, and this book obviously deals with the real case of Lolita being the famous novel written by uh, Nabokov in 1955. I didn't know that there was a real case. Um, the real case is the abduction of Florence Sally Huna uh, in 1948 when she was 11 years old um, uh, she stole a notebook or something and an, uh, um, a 50 year old man Frank LaSalle saw her and then said he approached her and said he was a FBI agent and that she had to come with him and otherwise he would send her to jail. He abducted uh, her and they traveled for almost two years uh, uh, through the US and he raped her um, he was led, later uh, d discovered and caught and tried and sent to prison and sadly uh, the real Lolita, Sally Horner, she died um, uh, in 1952, so shortly after she was rescued in a car accident. Um, uh, the book looks at the documents available, the public documents or court documents uh, and things like that to piece together the abduction of Sally Horner, but from what I understand, Sarah Weinman does more than that. She also tries to find out how much did Nabokov know about this real case when he wrote his book. This sounds fascinating. Lolita is a book that uh, is and has been controversial since its first publication more than half a century ago. I, I find it fascinating uh, to read about it. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know there was a real case, so I'm really looking forward to diving into this one. We stay with nonfiction, um, but move a little bit uh, to memoir. And the next book is by uh, Steve Jobs' daughter, uh, Lisa Brennan Jobs, and it's called Small Fry. It will be published at the beginning of September, September 4th. Um, now, Steve Jobs, I don't have to tell you who, who that was, um, but his daughter Lisa. Um, uh, I mean, he named a computer after her, but from what I know, uh, what I read about Steve Jobs, uh, he didn't recognize her uh, when she was young. She was born in 1978, uh, lived with her mother, um, and her father in those times 
the end of the 1970s, beginning of the 1980s, uh, her father, Steve Jobs, didn't play a role in her life. Uh, but later on, when Lisa uh, went to high school, she got ex uh, uh, estranged from her mother and moved in with her father, who then also recognized her as uh, his daughter. I was a bit reluctant um, uh, to, to pick up this book, but I heard good things about it. And what, whatever you might think of Steve Jobs as a person, I think he's a fascinating figure. Um, and uh, Lisa Brennan's memoir uh, was, is called uh, Funny and Witty. Um, and it might give some insight, not only in the life of the life she spent between her artist's mother's home and Steve Jobs' home, uh, but also in, in you know, the, the, the atmosphere in Silicon Valley at the end of the 1970s and the 1980s. So I'm looking forward uh, to reading Lisa Brennan Jobs' memoir about her life as Steve Jobs' daughter. And the fourth and final book is a book that is probably on the radar of a lot of you, at least if you read crime fiction, and that is Lethal White by Robert Galbraith or aka J.K. Rowling. Um, it's the fourth book in the Cormoran Strike uh, series uh, and it will be published uh, mid-September on the 18th. I don't know, first of all, I don't know why they changed the cover design. I really like the design of the first three books and Obviously, they have a new artist now and they changed the design and I think it's horrendous. But I will still read the book, of course. I love the series. It's, uh, if you're into crime, you know, fast-paced crime novels, uh, you probably read the series, but if you haven't, I can recommend it. You have this, your typical private detective, Cormoran Strike, who is damaged um, uh, mentally and physically. He lost his leg um, in, in the war, uh, but he's also struggling, you know, to piece his life together. Um, the first book, uh, when the first book was, was published, he, he just opened his private uh, uh, investigating uh, agency and he's struggling with money, with cases. And then you have Robin, uh, she starts as his assistant, a young woman um, uh, who is engaged uh, at the time when the series opens. And then you have this relationship, this tension between um, the two, between Cormoran and, and Robin, which develops over the books. So I'm not only looking forward to another good, fast-paced uh, crime-solving book, but I'm also really curious about the development of the relationship between Robin and Connor. I mean, hey, what can I say? I love these kind of books. Anyway, so those were the four picks for uh, the September releases. Um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know whether any of the four book, uh, books is of interest to you or whether there are any other books uh, released in September that you are looking forward to. Talk to me about it down in the comments. Um, again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye-bye.